royal commentators recounted how Sarah Ferguson's behavior was called into question when she accompanied Prince Andrew on a royal tour. The Duchess of York decided to give a speech during which she was heckled by a man in the crowd shouting, We love you. Fergie's immediately responded with "I'll see you later, but her quick wit reportedly sparked serious questions about her conduct and suitability as a senior member of the royal family. Daily Mail editor-at-large Richard K. told Channel 5's documentary Fergie and Meghan, Inconvenient Royals that the remark opened Fergie up to scrutiny. Mr. K. said, was she really respecting the decorum of being a royal duchess, or was she playing to the gallery? It was an amusing, off-the-cuff remark, but it got people thinking a bit more deeply about Fergie, was it amusing, or was it crass? Kristen Meinzer, a royal commentator gave more analysis of the trip, she famously wore a hat that just said LA on the back of it, which she thought was a funny shout-out to where she was in California and other people thought was just tacky. Later in the program, it is said that around this time was when Fergie's relationship with the British press started to break down. Fergie's initial popularity as Prince Andrew's wife was no indication of what was coming, after a string of scandals and subsequent ending of her marriage to the Queen's son, the British press sparked an open season with the fiery redhead. In 1992, Sarah sparked upset in the royal household thanks to being snapped while having her toes sucked while holidaying in France, just months after her separation from Prince and, it was said that this event was the catalyst for the complete breakdown of her and Prince Philip's relationship, one that never recovered before his death earlier this year. Related videos The culmination of Fergie's blunders was in 2010 when the News of the World published a story called Cash for Royal Access Sensation. The expose was a deeply embarrassing moment for the Duchess, with reports that her daughter, Princess Beatrice cried for days, after the event. It also prompted her to do a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey a year later, in an attempt to speak her truth. Fergie and Prince Andrew have been sharing lodgings at his Windsor residence, Royal Lodge. The Duchess of York has also joined her former husband and their youngest daughter, Princess Eugenie, at Balmoral to spend a few days with the Queen in her Scottish retreat. Prince Andrew and Fergie earlier this year became grandparents for the first time after the birth of Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooks Banks' son, August Philip Hawke. A second grandchild is expected to join the York family later this year when their eldest, Princess Beatrice, gives birth.